Hello, welcome to Neoscribe. When future historians look back on Elon Musk's legacy, the boring company will surely be part of his legend. Frustrated while stuck in brutal LA traffic, Musk decided to start a company and solve traffic in America. For those of you who do not live here, the US is a car-centric society. Our cities were designed for cars and that design put less of an emphasis on public transportation. And here we are with our major cities plagued with traffic. So now we have the Boring Company to the rescue with its plan to take personal transportation subterranean. You might be thinking, why not build subways? Well, LA already has a subway system that is undoubtedly lacking considering it's ranked ninth in the US in length and riders per mile. And expanding subway systems in the US on top of influencing people to use them is out of Musk's control. Thus, he's taking matters in his own hands to solve this issue with loop systems. The key to this endeavor is improving tunneling costs from $100 million to $1 billion per mile, all the way down to $10 million per mile. The Boring Company is reducing tunneling costs in many ways, but we're going to cover just one of them. And that is improving tunneling speeds. This involves enhancing tunnel boring machines, or TBMs, along with improving the tunneling process. The amount of innovation that the Boring Company has made in just three years is astounding. It started out with an off-the-shelf TBM and modified it to bore 50% faster. Then in February of this year, the Boring Company unveiled its third generation TBM called the Proof Rock. Proof Rock is 10 times faster than the second generation TBM. It's able to bore more than a mile per week. And the company's goal is to eventually increase that speed to 7 miles per day. Proof Rock is so fast because it has three times the power output compared to standard TBMs of its size. One of its major innovations is that it can launch directly from the surface. Usually companies have to excavate the TBM's launch site, which is time consuming and expensive. On top of that, the company developed a continuous mining process. You see tunnel segments are installed while the TBM is mining, which vastly improves speed. The typical process involves stopping the machine every 5 feet to install each segment. Another innovation to improve speed is eliminating the rail used for excavation. Installing the rails take time, instead the Boring Company uses a rubber wheeled segment truck system. And these are just some of the innovations. So once the loops are operational, each one will have a capacity of transporting 10,000 people per hour. Since all of the vehicles will be autonomous, passengers will travel at speeds up to 241 kilometers per hour. Instead of stopping at each stop as you would on subways, passengers will travel straight to their destination exit. And the cool thing is the system can scale up by adding additional tunnels as needed. The company already completed a 1.8 kilometer test tunnel in Hawthorne, California in 2018, which is currently being used for research and development. Check out this video they posted on their YouTube channel comparing the commute times with and without the tunnel. Keep in mind the distance is less than 2 kilometers, and taking the tunnel is over 3 minutes faster. Moving forward, the Boring Company has three main projects in various stages of development. The project is called the Las Vegas Convention Center Loop, or LVCC Loop, and will cost close to $50 million. The loop will connect the center's new exhibit hall with existing campuses. When the project is complete, the loop will shorten the travel time from a 15-minute walk to a 1-minute loop ride. The LVCC loop consists of two tunnels. The first was completed back in February, and the second was completed in May. The crew is now working on two above ground stations along with the underground station in the middle of the system. Musk recently tweeted this render of what the stations will look like. It looks so sleek and stylish, I can't wait to see pictures once it's complete. Anyway, while the standard capacity of loop systems are designed to transport 10,000 passengers per hour, the LVCC will have a capacity of 4,000 per hour. And Musk is creating synergies with Tesla as the LVCC passengers will be transported on Model 3s, Model Xs, and 12 to 16 passenger trams built on Model 3 platforms. The Boring Company hopes that the LVCC will eventually lead to the construction of the Vegas Loop, which will connect the main strip to McCarran International Airport. For now, the LVCC seems like a great place to test and perfect the loop system. What's bonkers is the fact that the Boring Company is just Elon Musk's pet project. 
Based on what he's accomplished in the aerospace and auto industries, Musk is already like a living legend. Time will tell whether or not the loop system concept will be a viable solution to traffic. But regardless if it is or not, the Boring Company will likely be a flavorful tidbit for future historians. Indeed, the legend of Elon Musk grows. All right, thank you so much for watching. I decided to release a surprise double feature today because I really, really want to promote my other video that I released today called The First Voyage of Captain James Cook Part 1. The video is the first episode of a brand new series about the epic expeditions of the past. The series is completely different from what I usually feature and I really want to bring attention to it. I put a link to the video in the description or it will be on the end screen. You can click on it there or find it on my video tab. So if you haven't seen it, please, please check it out. All right, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I am Neil Scribe, and I'll see you on the next journey.